also provides instructors with an environment for creating and delivering surveys to users that simplifies the process of data analysis. Surveys differ from exams in that responses can be anonymous and Likert scale questions can be created with ease. To create a survey, click Assessment on the left navigation menu, then click Surveys. Next, click on the green plus sign icon. Give the survey a title and fill in any additional preferred options. Moving to the Availability tab, the survey will automatically be published in draft mode, which means it is in the design phase and unavailable for the users to take. This allows you to modify the survey before releasing it. Additional availability options include choosing the access level of your survey. There are three types to choose from. Public and protected surveys can be accessed either from within the sole course or by following a protected link. Users must be logged into their sole account to take a protected survey, while anyone can take a public survey. Course level surveys can only be taken by users that are added to a particular sole course. Move to the Gradebook tab if you would like to link the survey to the Gradebook. Enter a value for maximum points to create a new Gradebook assignment or choose to attach to an existing Gradebook assignment. It is required to set a point value for a Gradebook survey, but it is not mandatory to use these points in the grade calculations. All students will receive the maximum number of points once they submit and the survey is closed. Partial credit can be given for a survey, but it must be done manually using the Quick Grader within the gradebook. Under the advanced settings, there are options to choose the delivery method of the survey and to make the user submissions anonymous. Additional message settings can also be added here. Once you have the survey settings to your liking, click Add Survey. The Survey Details page will open, giving you an option to add or import questions. Click the Add Questions button. This will take you to the Question Manager. Here you can choose to add multiple sections to a survey. Give the section a title and optional section text, then click Save. Begin to add questions to the survey. Surveys have six question types. Text box allows users to respond with a short line of text while the text area provides users with a much larger space for the essay response. Checklists can be used if users need to respond by selecting one or more options from the list. Drop-down list and options lists allow for one selection from the user by providing the drop-down menu or radio button display. Rating type questions allow the users to select a single rating based on the Likert scale. The slider allows users to click and drag the slider to the desired position based on the scale set by the administrator. Choose a question type to begin creating. Fill in the required information. Click Save when finished. You are also able to add questions from other surveys in your course. Click the Add Questions to a section. Here you will see what looks like a question bank, but it is actually just a collection of all the other survey questions in your course. Questions will only be selectable here if they currently exist in another survey. Select the desired questions and click Add Questions. If you need to edit a question, click the pencil icon, or to delete a question, click the trash can icon. To reorder the sections, click the Order Sections button. Drag and drop by clicking the left side of the section and placing it in the preferred order. To change the order of the questions within the sections, click the Order Questions button. Drag and drop by clicking the left side of the question and placing it in the preferred order. You can move the question to a different section or just move it within the current section. Click Return to Survey or visit the Survey Details page. Here you can preview your survey before users have access. Once you are ready, release the survey so users can take it. Survey Reports Survey Reports provide statistical data about the users who have taken the survey. It can be accessed once a survey has been released and remains available after the survey has been closed. To do this, go to the survey and click on Survey Reports button at the top. 
the survey question stats will display. Here you can customize the survey results in order to generate a PDF. Click Show Filters to sort results by specific date range, filter by questions and answers, and compare by answers. Use the toggle charts and toggle tables buttons at the top to show and hide these items for all survey questions. If you prefer to hide specific tables or charts for individual questions, options are available to show the chart, show the data on the chart, either as a percentage or as an absolute result, or show the data table. Chart options include bar, column, stacked bar, stacked column, pie, line, and area charts to display your results for each question. You can deselect all or select all as well as choose questions one by one by deselecting the checkbox at the bottom of the question. To focus on a specific question, deselect this question and click Hide Selected at the top. To restore all questions, click Show All. To create a PDF of the survey results, click Generate PDF. This will display the question stats page as is. Therefore, any display settings you have altered will be generated on the PDF. You may also export all question stats onto an Excel file. There are two types. One includes all question options and another with only numeric values for each answer option. Click the Individual Responses tab at the top to sort the survey results by submission. The date and time of the submission is displayed at the top of the response, as well as the name of the submitter, if the survey is not anonymous. Sort through the responses by using the drop-down menu on the top of the screen or clicking the right arrow to move to the next response. This is where you have the option to delete individual survey responses. To do so, click the red Delete Response button on the top left. The All Responses tab will display all survey submissions in chronological order. You can filter by a specific date range or by questions and answers and delete individual survey responses. For course level surveys, the Students tab will also display. This will show what users have submitted, are in progress, or have not submitted. 